Hi everybody, another 6th edition Data Slate Fluff Reading, Part 2, from Legions of the Dam, or Legion of the Dam. It is called Defining the Ethereal. There are those in the complex strata of the Imperium that make it their business to study the Legion of the Damned. They hope to learn not only of the mystery that lies behind them, but to capture whatever particular abilities they wield and use them for the betterment of the Imperium. On many occasions, the area of a Legion sighting is extensively analyzed, but the Auspex returns never yield evidence of a teleport signature nor the presence of an undesignated vessel that could have transported them to the field. If the rumors are true, the Legion are able to translocate directly via the warp, not by using a navigator and the unsteady pulse of the Astronomicon, not even by the dangerous science of teleportation, but by some kind of innate mastery. One fact of the Legion of the Dam's legend lends weight to this sup supposition. Vid thief evidence from the servo skull captures to multispectral analysis places them in various locations and times that were entirely cut off from the Imperium by warp storms and other phenomena and therefore unreachable by conventional reams. The collated reports show that what appears to be the same individuals across the other side of the galaxy shortly afterwards, or in the case of the astigmatum anomaly, simultaneously. Even blaming the fickle tides of the Imperium does not adequately explain such occurrences. Some have taken these incidences as proof that the Legion are masters of the warp, much like the embodiments of the Dark Gods. It is a disturbing thought, even for those who have witnessed the Legion fighting hard to save Imperial lives. One of the few facts known about the Legion of the Damned is that its agents appear at a critical time, never too late or too early, and always in the most advantageous place to bring death to the enemy. The idea of negotiating the Empyrean reliably and accurately has long been the dream of the leaders of mankind its potential captivating in the extreme. If harnessed properly, it could form a grand prize that could change the fate of humanity on a galactic level, allowing the armies of the Imperium to multiply their military presence by an unimaginable factor. So it is that no small portion of the Ordo Kronos, the part of the Inquisition that deals with temporal anomalies, is given over to the quest for the Legion's secrets. There are members of that secretive brotherhood who have spent their entire adult lives in pursuit of a first-hand sighting, who would give their lives gladly for a single exchange of information with a Legionnaire. Yet every time the operatives of the Ordo Kronos get close to their quarries, even conspire to keep them apart, events aspire to keep them apart. Landslides, telekinetic bursts, sudden mass aneurysms, or even vehicular explosions force the curious and the mysterious apart until the Legion has vanished from the time stream once more. It is as if the Legion will not allow themselves to be interrogated and have power enough to ensure that such an encounter does not come to pass. And then a little blurb. They warrant further investigation. That much is certain. 
Their modus operandi bears similarities to that of certain individuals we consider of extreme importance. It is not unheard of for those lost to history to appear in a state that bears little relation to their original appearance. Given post-mortem auspex readings, it is clear that they have advanced telekinetic capability, presumably psychic in origin. Upon stasis capture, I recommend extensive questioning within a quarantined null zone performed by a gifted interrogator chaplains, still attired in full battle plate. Brother, Brother Amadios of the Death Wing. Next will be The Hunt for Truth.